Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We died again, heck. I just can't build a streak at the minute, but Mega Modded means that it's just what it, it is what it is. And of course, we get Jacob and Ezel, which, um, thank God we're on a zero streak because it wouldn't be going anywhere. Whoa. Um, why are my hearts different color? What, what the heck? Is it just me? Is that just me? I swear they're a different color, right? They're like, what the heck? I have not installed any mods that should have done that recently, so I don't know where that's coming from. Um, what if... Something ain't right. Something ain't right. One moment. Okay, I'm completely unaware of what's causing it because none of the mods that I have do it or say that they do, and none of the mods that have recently updated say it either. Maybe I'm going blind? Maybe it's, it's a, it can't have always been like that. I've got to be right. It's one of those things where you can't quite tell. But I've asked on the, um, I've asked on the mod in Discord just to see if anyone knows of any mod that could have updated to have done this. Because I'm not, I, I, like I said, I, I really hope I'm not just going crazy here, but I'm pretty sure it's changed, right? Like, did Spirit Hearts used to have a black outline when, the, when they were on the floor? Like, that red heart looks normal, but my actual health looks, like, really grey. There's a very strong possibility that I accidentally have a AMD filter on by accident. That's also something that could have happened. One minute. Nope, that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't really know what's causing this, then. We also did get a library here, which could be very good, considering we've got two characters that can hold actives. That would be really, really nice to get something good out of this. And you know what? This is something good. I will... Let, yeah, let's do it this way around. Boom, bow. And then we can pop this to get bits and bobs here and there. Explosiva. I don't really know how to feel about Explosiva, I'll be honest. Um, Take it on the higher fire rate guy, I guess. Makes the most sense, I think. Right, one minute. Okay, I found out what it was from. It's Repentance Plus... Uh, for some reason, the Repent well, Repentance Plus has added a few new hearts and a few of them needed new UI. For some reason, that's also changing the color of the vanilla hearts. So after this episode, I'll have to see if I can remove that because I'm honestly not a fan. Uh, I'd much prefer the vanilla look. Oh, God damn it. The explosive shots keep falling off. There you go. Um, ooh, Ordinary Life. That's a good one. And I think we give that to you because you need to fire it. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's just keep on going. We've got a good thing going here. Mega Satan's the path that we've got to take. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll ask the developer what's going on with that. There's a, there's a strong possibility that, that the developer didn't intend for that to be the case. It's not meant to change the vanilla hearts colors. Cause honestly, I think it's a bit of an odd choice to change the, the colors of all the vanilla hearts in the game as well as adding your modded ones. Just cause like you, you don't know if people are going to want that or not. And it's as a content mod. You don't really want to be adding UI changes, really, um, I guess. Uh, so, I'll let them know about that, because it's it's very possibly unintended. Um, and if not, I'll just figure out how to get rid of it. So, one pretty interesting thing here that we've got going on with Ordinary Life is we now have the ability to grab multiple items here. So, I know that um, this seems kind of weird, because using a bomb, but now we can... Ordinary Life's actually incredible for us, because, yeah, now we can do this, which isn't the best actually i'm gonna swap this around actually because i think you need the soul heart more but yeah now we can get both obviously we don't want the the um remote detonator but we at least get five bombs from picking it up so it's actually worth grabbing but on ordinary life's gonna be pretty good for us i think it's gonna end up being quite useful um and we'll give that to you nice looking forward to seeing some of these uh new hearts from repentance plus though because i don't know what they do the fact that they have some unique ui means uh could mean some interesting stuff um, it's unlikely, but let's try this out. Boom. See if we can get a secret room, but obviously not. Okay. What what costume does Ezel have on right now? Is that the ordinary life costume? Because it's very strange. Okay, we'll crack all of these looking for petrified poop, maybe. Just pennies in general, pretty good for us, though. Happy with that. Really should have left that Explosiva. That's one thing about Explosiva. You kind of need to, like, not kill the enemy if you want them to, like, do radial damage and hurt other things. Hey. So, yeah, the, the Soul Hearts are a bit wacky here. I am going to try, and there you go, do that. Uh, we'll, we'll do one each here. Grab that. 
um, having the, the spooky chests, the haunted chests, actually have a purpose now and giving soul hearts along with normal drops, so much better. So much better. What a, what a great little change that mod makes. Right. Go, go, go. And then... Should we, we might as well check our shop, to be honest. Um, yeah, I know that this is going to blow up our donation machine, but I don't really care. I've, I've got to the point now where I'm bullying the hell out of it non-stop. And then we can take Humble and Bundle on whoever here. I think Humble and Bundle's a great item for us to grab. And we will carry on. Okay, that's <laughs> that's a, a full-on press right there. A Humbling Bundle's actually going to be kind of good with the, uh, the Book of Sin. That was a good hit. Not going to lie, that was a good hit. First hit of the run, though, so don't feel too bad about it. I'm really liking this, uh, this like, sort of book thing we've got going on right now. Okay, so we've got an Explosivo shot on him and another. There you go. Ooh, and a damage up, so that goes to you. Devil Deal is certainly plausible, but I think we just we just power through to Angel, especially if we're going to try and do Mega Satan. But this is a pretty good Jacob and Esau run um, off the bat here. I'm liking this. Hey, the double drops. Oh, there's Petrified Poop. We got it. I knew I was going to get hit there, but I just kind of had to accept it. Okay, so we got Petrified Poop. I don't know if it matters which one of us destroys the poop. I don't think it does. But rather nice to have that nonetheless. We're getting a little separated here and there. There is a new mod that uh, that has, like, Jacob and Ezel stuck together. So I might try that in the future because it seems like it would be very, very positive. Do you know what? This is... 100% a room where I want more damage. That, that, my god. That mushroom survived way too long there. The Explosivo shots are coming out hot and fast as well. Right, let's keep it going. I can't believe, I actually can't believe Humbling Bundle used to guarantee every single drop to be a double drop. That's nuts. Like, that's actually crazy. Whoa. Some good hits there, dude. Some good hits. Like... It's so strong in the in the current iteration of it now, with it just being some of the drops. I actually can't believe it was ever all the drops. It's one of those balance changes that you're just like, I never really thought about how necessary it would be in um in uh, Afterbirth Plus, but goddamn, is it? Wow, that 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 was a rough room for us right there. I all of those enemies just spawned on top of me. Ooh, we got a glitch heart here. Sadly, nothing from it this time around. Good. But yeah, I don't know what the chances of the other hearts are, or even what the new hearts do, but we'll uh, we'll hopefully find one or two in this run. Okay, we definitely need some more HP now, though, because I did unfortunately get hit a little more than I ever should have done in that room there. Then again, though, it wasn't exactly my fault. Like I said, the enemies just spawned on me. Oh, look, it's a tiny baby dumpling. Whoa! He, he like, jumped from underneath that dumpling there. Little dumpies. Little dumpling boys. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Just play it safe. Explosivo, this guy. Extra bombs, lovely. Shop is definitely going to be quite high value here. We've been getting just a ton of money. Wait, whoa. I just have to go back into that room one second. I know it's something real funky going on in that last room. I don't know if you guys saw it just as I was leaving the room. It might not be like it when we go back in. Yeah, look. There's, there's rocks. What the hell? There's rocks outside the stage. Um, This is another thing I need to send a bug report of. Um, That's not right. <laughs> that's not right. One sec. This has just been an odd episode so far. We're finding some real bizarre stuff. I don't know if that's something to do with Rep Plus or if that's a completely unrelated bug. Or if maybe that's just a custom room that um, that was made incorrectly. It's very plausible that uh, whoever made that custom room just made an error. So I won't blame it on Rep Plus straight away. <laughs> and Rep Plus doesn't edit rooms anyway, so I doubt... Um... Oh god. These, oh, these enemies are so tough. We're going to lose our angel deal, aren't we? I can just feel it. Right, let's uh, let's get in there. Do our boss. Ooh, we, we could definitely lose it here. Let's... Uh... No, you bastard. That was so close. Do you know what? He has been a bastard. And where's my Explosivo shots exactly right now? We've not had a single one land on him yet. There we go. There we go. He's going to jump. And... Yep, I knew it. 
I knew he was going to jump and knock them all off. Okay, come on. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. You bastard. You bastard. Okay, we got him, we got him. Oh, my lord. Wait. Why didn't we get an angel deal? Am I just dumb? And Maybe I'm just dumb. Right, give that to you. Give that to you. Pop that. Go find our item room real quick. Get our doubled items. Oh! Never do that, game. Oh my god. That was um, a, a room from Ipecac, so I'll have to let the Ipecac devs know that that exists, because that's... It's always some funky bullshit when that happens to you. Like, there's nothing you can do to avoid it, really. I mean, obviously you can remember the room's there, but that's not really a good solution. <laughs> it just shouldn't be able to happen in the first place. I remember in Afterbirth Plus, that was a pretty common occurrence, and they, uh, they fixed almost all of the rooms where that can happen. I, I, in fact, I, I, I'm, I'll pretty confidently say it, all of them. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think I know of any rooms where that... Ooh, okay. Um... I think Explosivo guy wants the fire rate, right? Nice. And then you get the dad's ring. Dad's ring isn't super good for us here, but it's good enough. Um, I guess we'll take you. And then you can have that. Okay. Pretty happy. Yeah, dad's ring's one of those ones that it's not always the, the, the best, but it can come into play. It can definitely... Uh, Enhance a run. No, thank you. I don't, on, a, on a run like this where we're sort of teetering on the edge of success, I do not want to take the risk of, of grabbing pills. I'm, I'm completely fine how I am, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, that room needs, uh, needs sorting out. <laughs> right, let's bugger off to the next floor. Remember, if we get an angel deal, we should really try and bomb our statues. That would be nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I always forget you can stick explosivo shots to those guys while they're not, um, they're not live, they're not, like, open. Okay, gotta be a little careful with this room. This room's honestly very difficult. Especially for Jacob and Ezo. Oh my, this, this, this room might get me, get me hit quite a lot. I gotta say, this room could get me hit quite a lot, just, just because... I'm going to get separated from each other quite a lot, and I've got, like, a pretty distracting thing in the way here. Damn it. Okay, good. We got it, we got it. We, we took so long that the room ended, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Mini boss here. I'll, uh, I'll pop this book here for this. Get eaten by your own bombs. Explosivo should finish you. Lovely. Still find it funny that that guy is not bomb immune. <laughs> right. Let's keep it going. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more of the item rooms here and getting more um, mum and dad based items. There's not a ton of them that are really good, but there is a few. I mean, dad's ring's one of the ones I'd say is uh, probably on the better scale of things. Boom, boom. It'd be really nice if um, if some mods had some, like, inter-mod connection where, uh, I don't know how you'd even do this, but, like, where Ordinary Life pulls from mum and dad items from other mod packs, which I know there's a few of, so... That could definitely work, but, yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to do, like, inter-mod connection sort of stuff like that, I think. I'm not actually 100% sure, but I'd assume that is a regular heart, I'm pretty sure. I do not want to bother with that for now. The good thing is, enemies that charge us, um, Dad's ring's gonna, for the most part, help us out a ton with those. Oh, that was close. Okay, luckily these enemies have appeared in areas that make it very easy to dodge them. This is a, a, an area where I'm fully committing to this. Okay, so Dad's ring just saved us there. Dad's ring saved us hard. That's an extra key. Uh, consumables, I don't even need to concern myself with them, really. This this run for consumables is, is over. Like, we're always going to have enough to do whatever we want. Including money as well. Like, that's another great thing about Humbling Bundle. It's like, you buy it once and you're good to go. Um, okay, so I think I'll buy... It doesn't matter who I buy this as. And I think I'll buy this as you. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're going to be getting on money, like, all the time. And it's going to be doubled as well. Oh, God, this is a little tough. Yep, 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 yep. That's why I bought, why I bought the Soul Heart. Getting rooms like 
This, oh my god, rooms like this are the worst for Jacob and Ezo. Oh, come on, you. Still haven't found our item room yet. Let's go back and try and get that. <sighs> Why can it even drop batteries? It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. We got another battery there. I think I'll just get that my way back. Nice bit of money there as well. Some pins coming in here. I love the custom pin skins. They're so cool. Ooh, here we go. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually afford either of the items um, made available to us here, which is a real shame, because both of them are bangers, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a few more of those. I think I think it was maybe the last episode of the episode before that we also had this um, this sign thing, and it, it, it it's very good. It didn't proc much last time, but already proccing this time is good. Oh, come on. Like, I'd be like this. I really wish these enemies didn't exist. Enemies that you have to wait to shoot. Just, they can't, I, I can't even with them. But yeah, in the last episode, I think I was saying about um, trying to ask people in the comments questions and stuff. Oh my god. This is just terrible. I'm just dying so quickly. Um, So, my question to you this episode is, what is your favourite tier effect in Isaac and why? Mine... Technically not one to your effect, but it's fruitcake. Um, we are getting completely wrecked here. I'm just coming across a lot of rooms that are very unfriendly to, to Jacob and Ease out here. Which is the core problem with this character. There's so many rooms that this character just physically doesn't work on. Okay, so luckily here, we got two active items. That's good. I would... It is potent like these are potentially better than the than the actives we have right now. So tell you what. Wait, what? Oh, I'm stupid. It doesn't matter. Doesn't d don't even bother. I'm stupid. Let's just let's just leave that and go. Yeah, I'm stupid. I didn't realize um I forgot I had to grab them both at the same time. We might as well give this to uh Ezo as well actually. If he doesn't have a trinket right now. But yeah, what's your favourite tier effect? Mine's always been fruitcake, but it doesn't really count as one tier effect. I'm trying to think of one that I really like. I really like um, like the science shots, the little horn ones. They're always really fun to have. The ocular rift ones are also just super fun to have pretty much every single time. Um, there's some really, really fun ones out there. All right, so we'll pop that. I don't know who we've got here. Frail, I think? Yeah, Frail. The Frail. Okay, so unfortunately, Explosivo is basically useless here. But we killed him very, very quickly nonetheless. We get ourselves this, which I think we give to you. And then... <gasps> okay. Things are looking up for us now. Nice. They're both great items. Obviously, Sacred Heart being the greatest of the two. Uh, but now we can do our um, our thing with this dude. Sacred Heart's going to make this significantly easier. I went for um, it on the Explosivo character. Because I think um, having Herming on Explosivo is going to be pretty, pretty damn good. Nice. We grab that. And then we go. Oh, hell yes. This is some good stuff, people. This is some good stuff. We have a run building up together. But yeah, again, um, people, if you want to ask me any questions... Ooh, okay. We've got some, we got some really good stuff going on here. I I still don't know who wants this. Prob... Nah, let's give it to you, and we'll give all the soul hearts to the other guy. I know that's, that's, that's not very good for getting angel deals, but still. I, I'm fairly sure this thing still has a wrong EID description. I don't know who I got hit on there, by the way. Oh my god, the Herming. It's so strong. It's so very strong. I always forget these guys split when they die as well. Oh, Holy Water also just coming in clutch as well. Chance of Pickle Seeds disappear become trinkets. Yeah, I don't think that's actually what that thing does anymore. I think they changed it and never updated the ID description. Did not mean to pop that, but it's popped now. Honestly, considering there's... Um, Fucking jumpy worm boy is in here. I'm not too upset that I pressed it, to be honest. Really, really hope I don't get hit on my uh, 
thingy character. I want another angel deal. Obviously, this floor, we're a lot less likely to get one anyways. It'd still be nice. I'm going to try and use telekinesis whenever I can to uh, not get hit. But it's a little hard to predict when you're going to need it. Especially, obviously, enemies that chase us. We kind of have good protection from both projectiles and chasing enemies, though, now. Because projectile-wise, we've got telekinesis, although we have to activate it to make sure it takes effect. And then uh, contact damage, we have Dad's Ring, which is, for the most part, at least, going to stop uh, stop us taking too much contact damage. Quite a nice little thing we've got going on here. It's a gamble, but I really do think eight cents for the potential of more money is the way to go. Guess what happened? <laughs> it procced a single time. And that was it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. And then the eternal heart now goes to to you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Away we go. This is actually a very, very good Jacob and Ezel run, despite uh, the, the dumb damage I've been taking. Okay. And then this one... This one can go to you to try and protect our angel deal, because I believe Eternal Hearts protect angel deal. I'm not 100% sure on that, I'll be honest. But I'm fairly sure they do. Okay. So this is definitely a telekinesis sort of room. Obviously, it doesn't last forever. Ooh, no thank you. No thank you. Ooh. I think we're okay against these guys with their dad's ring here. Then we got this, which, unfortunately, another bad item, but at least we get Mum's Eye. Uh, Mum's Eye is probably best on you. Chance to fire behind us with Herming Tears is decent. Not the best, but it's going to be helpful. Okay, that, that was just altogether very useful for us there. Come on. Explosiva! Do your thing! <laughs> Lovely. Oh my god, we got so much money now as well, so if we get any pop-up shops, we can use them pretty easily, but more importantly, the actual shops themselves might be able to get some good health out of those. And possibly some good items to go along with that health. Good. Don't need to grab money that's trapped like that. Whoa, everything got stunned there. I think that's because of my battery baby. I always forget battery baby has the small chance to do that. Because it doesn't happen that often, and it doesn't seem to have a specific trigger, it just happens sometimes. Right, shop. Unfortunately, not a very good shop for us at all, but we do have the ability to reroll a little bit here, which could provide. Um, I think we definitely buy that for you, just as some, some assured safety for that eternal heart. Don't care about that so much. Another one of these for you. Burger bombs doesn't really matter. Probably be our last reroll here. There you go. And Nightlight, I think Nightlight's kind of a nuisance sometimes, so I'm not even going to take that. That was a bit of a wash, but we got two Soul Hearts. I can't be too can't be too mad, and we didn't even spend that much money. As long as we still have 20 cent left, I'm always going to be happy, because 20 cent allows us to uh, buy from the pop-up shops whenever they appear. Which I think is kind of the best we could ask for right now. Two Red Hearts. Let's just pop this to make sure we get past that without being hit. I'm going to wait for Telekinesis to be back up and ready. Which it pretty much is. And we do this. Okay, slightly difficult room here, but Explosivo is going to be very good because these guys rarely jump. I mean, the damage we've got in general is just going to be really good. And we did get a pop-up shop. Okay, um, I still think we stack damage on you. I think it's going to be more valuable. And honestly, let's give you the health as well. Why not? Uh, and we can just bail on down. Uh, hopefully we get an angel deal on the next floor. I feel, I, I feel like it could be coming our way. Could be coming our way. But yeah, once you get Sacred Heart, I wouldn't say it's a one run, but you're definitely in a, in a spot where you can be very confident, even as Jacob and Ezo. Ooh, this is a crazy looking room. Lots going on in here. Yeah, I thought it's better to stack damage on the uh, Hermin guy because we're just likely to hit more shots. And he already has good fire rate, too, or decently good fire rate. Can, can you come back over here, you big... There's two of them back over here. What are you doing, like, chilling in the corner? Ow! We need some, um, shot speed and, and ranger. 
Shot speed, not so much, but definitely range. But then again, we could get we that could be provided to us by mum items, so you never know. Of course, we're going to be getting mum items on the regular, pretty much. Oh, we're a little bit split up here. This is scaring me. Thank God it destroyed the mask I wanted it to there. Good, good. Ooh, I think... I think this is better for... Sorry, other way around. I think... I think that's better for you. Just getting some extra bouncy shots in there. Because homing plus bouncy doesn't really make sense. Unless maybe we had piercing, then it might be a little more valuable. But otherwise, I think it's not really something we care about too much. Good. The extra keys. Hopefully we can get some more money here. We're a little bit low on money right now. And we could get a pop-up shop at any moment. I was really hoping we'd get one there just to <laughs> just to prove me right. Oh god. Very, very bad hit there. Wasn't paying attention in the slightest. We haven't seen any tinted rocks this run either, have we? Or at least I haven't noticed any. We probably have seen a few. Good. Good. The health is actually not too bad on either character here. I don't think we're in a, a very bad state at all. It definitely could be better. It could always be better. Well, here's our item room. What do you have for me? At least one good item there, and I think we definitely take it on our um, thingy character. Thank you. Getting a lot of actives. A lot of actives. Thank God we've got this thing for the extra items. Otherwise, we'd be missing out on a lot. But yeah, I think this is going to be really good with uh, the, the slow-moving tiers. Our tiers are moving around quite slowly. They have more time to arc between enemies. Now, like I said, all we need is really piercing after this. This is a good amount of money here. Telekinesis is helping us out there. Very good amount of money here. God damn. This sets us up for a little while, this does. I mean, this is our last floor, right, that we can even use a shop on. So not that necessary anyways. Um, I think I'm just going to beeline it straight to the boss, to be honest. Might as well pop this. Get some extra damage in there. And attack this boy. Oh, Explosivo almost popped there. Um, doesn't really matter which one of these we take, but I think I'm going to do this and grab both. We do have a devil deal here, which is a shame, because obviously we kind of need angel deals. But we will check this out anyways, because it doesn't hurt us to check. Unfortunately, ne neither thing in there I really want anyways. And we head on down. We head on down. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. Ooh, cursed eye. That's a fat no in my book. Oh god, that guy is chasing hard. Yeah, that's a fat no in my book right there. I will not be taking care style. I will be taking that big fat pill though. That big fat pill is intriguing to me. Okay. Telekinesis here is important because there's going to be a lot of incoming shots. Let's eat that pill. It was a doubled health up. Hell yes. Very nice. We are looking a little bad... Because we don't have any soul heart protection on Ezao here. On Jacob, sorry. But Ezao's looking fine. Okay. I, one thing I really like about um, about Tech Zero as well is it connects to Ezao's tiers as well. Like, we get the interconnectivity of the other characters' tiers, not just ours. So it's like, it's like a multi-purpose item, really. An item that's going to affect us both. Honestly, Teleka needs to save my ass so hard. I think Telekinesis might be, like, one of the stronger actives in the game defensively. Like, it's not the best, I don't think. I think there is, like, like obviously one that generate you HP are probably a bit, a bit better. But Telekinesis charges so quickly, and it, 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 like, lasts for a good amount of time. I really do think it's very, very strong. Especially if you can get it with, like, quicker activation or longer effect from, like, car battery or something like that. It really ups the, ups the power level by quite a bit. I knew I was going to get hit there, but I just kind of accepted it. We don't have any red hearts lying on the floor, unfortunately, though. Yeah, I just kind of accepted that there because um, I was going to get hit by the laser dude either way. Like, I had to just... Basically, I was just deciding there which enemy am I going to let hit me. Oh, no. Okay. Too many hits now. God damn it. I've gone the wrong way both times here. Give me some red hearts. That is a glitched heart. 
And that's a black heart. Okay, uh, I'll give that to you. I will give that to you. Also, uh, just now, the developer of Repentance Plus messaged me back and just said, sorry about that, it was a bad decision on my behalf. <laughs> I'm going to change it back. So we're getting we're getting our regular heart UI back. I mean, it's it's just one of those things where it's like I'm kind of fine with with resprites of hearts and stuff. I know some people really like those, but in a mod pack where it's not gra where it's not meant to be graphic ch changes, it's not a great idea to change things graphically um, from the vanilla game. But like I said, they've admitted not a great idea changing it back now. So no harm. Ah, oh, it hit me again. Really, red hearts? You're not gonna drop at all. Not at all, my god. Okay, this this rock could give us some red hearts. They normally drop them. Or it could drop a crimson chest that we can't open. That's also exactly what I wanted. Dude, dude, dude. Why do I keep going the wrong way? <laughs> the whoop sucks so hard for this. Like, I've... Oh my god. You, you watch it be the room below that I didn't go to. Somehow. Somehow, oh my lord, there you go. We need to take that as, take that as you, yeah. It's a waste of one heart, but that's fine. Ooh, Blighted Irvin, Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful here, Blighted Irvin could be, could spell trouble. Oh, Telekinesis let me down, I thought it was still active. Kinda hard to see if it's still active because we have this other aura from, um, what's, this, what's it called here? The other aura from Dad's Ring. So that makes it a little hard. Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard at all. This guy is frozen. Got both frozen, okay. That was very easy. Oh, and there's our hearts, good. Okay, we're both sitting at exactly the same HP now, right? Um, b -b 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 the Emperor. Teleport you to super secret room reveals the super secret room location f locations for the current floor. How do I pop this card again? I can't remember how to pop the card. Oh, there you go. Whoa, it's all the bombs. Is that a two of clubs as well? You, you bet it be a two of clubs. Yes! <laughs> I don't even need to double these, but it's just kind of fun. Right, we'll grab that and we'll go down to the next floor. Foiled Moon could be pretty nice for us here. The moon. We'll just pop it straight away. Oh, hello. Interesting little room. We'll take that for the red heart potential. We'll take this for the eternal heart. Doesn't really matter who grabs that because we both got the same HP. And we will be out of here. Ooh, Telekinesis helped me out there. So we've got our other secret room on the map over there, but I, I'm guessing that's not the correct way to go. Oh, no, it is. I was going to say, like, normally super secret room is closer to the boss. Does not seem to be the case today. Unfortunately. Right. We're going to have to tra track our way back anyways. Explosivo, do your thing. It's not to have chance to trigger in a while, but then again, we have very high damage. So it's just kind of the case that it's not getting to trigger because we're killing things before it could trigger. We're not even in the room long enough for one activation. Ooh, tough love. We don't have great luck, but it's good enough. So I'll take that. Thank you for tough love. I really like the fact they're 15, uh, they're 20 cent and not 15, because it, it, considering the, the fact that it pulls from different item pools, mainly the treasure pool, um, and obviously it's a lot more accessible, it definitely needs to be more expensive, so I, I appreciate the fact that it was intentionally made more expensive there. Yeah, some teeth shots coming in. Don't, don't really care about this guy. Explosive teeth there coming at you. Ooh, oh, that was a shame. I'm pretty sure they disappear when you leave the room there. I think it was just Sack Dagger, which isn't exactly a necessary item for us here, but yeah, let's just see. Oh no, they, they don't disappear when you leave the room. Maybe they should. I'll grab I'll grab it anyways, just because it's uh, it's something to block some shots that are incoming. Remember when Sack Dagger used to be so much slower than this? Should grab the money nonetheless. Right. And then explosivo proc. Yes. Okay, easy. Easy mum fight there. Wow. 
Oh, no angel deal again. That's really unfortunate. Um, seven seals is an interesting one. I think we'll grab seven seals as Yuksha are about to get more HP on the next floor because of that eternal heart. Um, and then we'll, we'll just go up. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a chance to fight Mega Satan here. It's why I kind of wish, like, there was, like, some additional way on the Cathedral and the Chest and Dark Room and Shul to grab, um... To grab a, what's it called, uh, an, like an angel statue from somewhere. Like, just like a, a super secret room that always spawns, but in like a random location that's hard to find that contains an angel statue. Just to give you an extra chance. Also, prime example of why we need this. Because this room is hell for these characters. But yeah, pretty much since the, since the moment we got Sacred Heart, we've been, we've been chilling. And it has proven to be so. Get out of here, Sporter. What the hell's that? All new treasure rooms will have an angel item for sale instead of normal angels. Um, spawn Angels spawned from statues will not drop key pieces. That's super fucking cool. I, I, I know the Devil's Crown exists, but I didn't know the Angel Crown did. I'm guessing that's from a mod. I'm, I'm almost certain it is, but that's a really cool modded item. Right, let's see how many wrong ways we go this time. Okay, this is a hard room. Thank God we managed to kill... Um, the, the big maw boy before anything else. That's kind of a necessary thing to do there. Right, you were a bit of a pain. Oh, we got some candle heads over here. I love the candle heads. Once they get tweaked and fixed a little bit to so make them a little more uh, lively, like the fire hasn't been animated properly and stuff, these will be really cool enemies. They're already pretty cool, but they could be a little cooler. Yeah, of course it's the wrong way. Why, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't you make me go through a bunch of unnecessary rooms? Ooh. Um, I do think that this is worth grabbing. Yeah. We'll, we'll take that. Um, Hollow Heart's going to give us a Burn Heart on the next floor. It's only one, but I still think one... Let's pop this, because we're going to get hit otherwise. Um, I still think one Burn Heart is valuable. Okay, you need to stop, sir. One thing I gotta say about uh, Humbling Bundle, with it spawning the double coins, does it make it less likely that you'll get um, that you'll get stuff like luck pennies and golden pennies? Because they can't. I'm guessing double pennies can't be replaced by luck pennies because they're not the same thing. You can't get like a double luck penny, can you? Uh, ooh, I hate this room with a passion. Um, let's let me figure out how best to do this. I think we go boom, like that. There you go. We wait for telekinesis to come back up. Yeah, just couldn't be arsed dealing with that at all. Not as these characters. Never as these characters. Okay, just, just be aware when telekinesis ends is the sort of big thing for us right now. We're probably going to get hit here. Oh, ho, ho. you see that? The uh, thing you went through the middle of us both. The light beams. Dodging him in the best way possible. There you go. Nicey spicy. And we'll see what we get from our chests here. Could be something quite nice. Stigmata. Okay. All good so far. Okay. Bottom two are a bit iffy. Top two are pretty good. I'll say we'll take this for you. This for you. This for you. And this for you. I think Dad's Ring plus the Toxic Aura is a pretty cool combination, actually. Something I haven't really thought of before, but works quite well together, right? We got a Mum's Pearl there. Mum's Pearl's probably a good grab, to be honest. I know it's only a low chance to gain them, uh, but any extra chance on a floor like this could be valuable. We've probably already won anyways, but still. It's always worth trying that a little bit harder if we can. Oh, Dad's ring saved our life there. Honestly, the clutchest of, of actives slash passives. Dad's ring plus telekinesis is just a godly combo. Just a really godly combo. We've not had anything super modded in this run. I think Ordinary Life has really been the star of the show in terms of modded stuff this run. We've had a few other modded things here and there, but Ordinary Life has just kind of taken away with it. In fact, um... How many modded items do we have? We have one. 
Uh, wait. We we only have three modded items this entire run. It's gonna happen sometimes, but that's kind of crazy. With three modded items this entire run, we don't even have any modded trinkets or actives either. Like it's all like we are super vanilla right now. It's kind of crazy when that happens, considering the the 400 plus modded items we have available to us. We should not have gotten hit there. That was a truly telekinesis moment, and I should have known. This is just a very hard room in general, though. Oh, look, the quarter. Thank you. It's fine. Our health is fine still. you got to remember, Blue Baby's pretty easy anyways, so... As long as we find him in a somewhat timely manner, we should be fine. Oh, ha, ha. The Contagion. I love the Contagion against that boss. Look at that. Oh. Just the chain reaction. The beauty of it all. The beauty and splendor. Ooh, okay. So, this is a... I hate this room, but I love it. Like, it's a cool room, but goddamn is it hard. Like, the, the Herming's not even working on this damn boss. That's a tricky one. It's a cool one, but it's a tricky one. Okay, here's the boss. And let's bash into him. Let's, uh... Pop the lover's card in here. Oh, it's double hearts as well. I kind of forgot about that. Pop that. Pop that. Get ourselves back in line with each other. We really want to be as close to each other as we possibly can, just because that's helpful generally, but also to make sure Dad's Ring and Telekinesis affects both characters. There you go. Easy bangers on that one. We're not going to do Void this one. This is just a, a cut and dry, nice, clean run. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.